One of the cool things about Google is it's a lot more than just a search engine. Google provides a whole bunch of free tools for people to help you improve your productivity, do really cool things online, and make your online experience that much simpler and that much more enjoyable. One of these tools is Google Reader. You know how you're overwhelmed by information online? You have a whole bunch of sites bookmarked, bookmarked that you like to go to regularly. Every time you want to see if there's new content on those sites, you click on it, you see if there's new stuff there. If there isn't, you go to another site. Is there any new stuff there? It can be a pretty time-consuming process. Using a tool like Google Reader allows you to subscribe to the content that's on those sites and have it delivered right to one central place. Let's take a look how it works. The first thing you'll need is a Google account. Now, if you already have a Gmail account or a Google account, you can skip this step. If you don't, you'll need to go to accounts.google.com and you'll see this link up here in the corner called sign up for a new Google account. When you click, it's going to take you to a page where you're going to fill out some of this information here on the right hand side, agree to the terms of service, click next step, walk through the rest of the steps and you'll be all set up. Once you're set up, you can go to www.googlereader.com forward slash reader and it'll take you to this page once you've logged in. Now this is Google Reader. It doesn't look like much right now, but we're going to change that. Up here on the left hand side is a giant red subscribe button. When you click on this button, it opens up a little search window, kind of like the one you see on the main Google page. You can enter a search term or you can actually paste a website address. For now, we're going to enter a search term. So let's enter job search tips. We'll click the add button and we're going to see a whole list here of search results. Now you'll notice that beside each one of these is a number of subscribers. These are other people who have subscribed to receive this content. If I click on this link here, it doesn't take me to the website, but it takes me to a list of all of the new content on that site. I can click and see more information, and if I click this link, it'll take me right to the, to the website itself. If I like what I see here, I can click on this subscribe button. Now I've subscribed to this information. So every time a new post gets posted onto that website, it will automatically be downloaded to my Google Reader so I can check it out. There's another way you can subscribe to content. If you click on that subscribe button again, you can actually put in a website address. So I'm going to type in my blog address, www.suzemuse.com, click the add button, and you'll see here that I have two new posts showing up in my Google Reader now. When I click on one of these, I can see the entire blog post. Down here at the bottom, I have a couple of different options. I can email the post to somebody. I can add tags, so that's a great way to be able to categorize information. If I click again, it closes it back up. Now every single time a new blog post gets posted on this site, I will be notified in my Google Reader and I'll be able to read it all from one place. You'll notice down here on the left hand side that now I've got my two subscriptions here. I can click back and forth between the two and it'll tell me how many new posts or unread posts there are. So this is how easy it is to subscribe to content and have it delivered to you all in one place. It's a huge time saver. I highly recommend that you try it out and see what you think.